Secretary for, and this great team for inviting me to present these awards. The FPG is um, both an augustly grown up and enormously cool institution in my book. It was founded in, as you probably know, 1856. Its primary function was to show portraits of famous British men and women from the 16th century to the present day. And, however, it's now expanded. It's, uh, it's, it now wears several hats, including historical reference, conservation, and now includes photography and prints. And I have to admit, I mean, I, I once did a play called Art um, over the road here, so for quite a while, but it is, actually. <laughs> and um, I thought I knew all about art, even though my character had bought a white painting. <laughs> but I love that white painting. Anyway, I have been here for some time, but um, you know, I, I'm now witnessing these wonderful portraits. You know, it's, it's, it's the, the future of portraiture is, is here tonight. And, and as I'm about to open, in a play by Oscar Wilde. I thought it might be fitting to quote his views on art. So I looked up a few quotes, and I found the first one is, all art is quite useless. <laughs> Not quite the theme I was going for. <laughs> <laughs> However, the second quote is, the artist should never try to be popular, rather the public should be more artistic. <laughs> <laughs> this seems to me a quite brilliant observation of our relationship with art. We, the public, should want to look at and engage with art, regardless of whether the artist is known to us. And the NPG continues to enjoy healthy footfall, despite the bewildering array of screen opportunities at home. So it seems to me that they're doing a fine job of allowing the public to be more artistic. And that is a fantastic thing, and I applaud them. <laughs> so, um, I've only got 25 more minutes. No, no, no. <laughs> to an end. Um, just before I, I give out these wonderful prizes, just remember we open on Friday. Um, <laughs> to the just a very short walk. <laughs> we're all and we're doing the importance of being earnest. The importance of being earnest. <laughs> I hope to see you all there at Sunday. <laughs> Feel free to come round backstage, and I've always got a bar going. So it's <laughs> anyway, let's get on with the first prize. Here we go. This is the BP Travel Award winner for the 2014, and it goes to Mr. Edward Sutcliffe for his proposal to travel to LA to capture portraits of the Compton Cricket Club, which was formed 20 years ago as an initiative to encourage and empower the disaffected youth of the Compton neighborhood. Fantastic. <laughs> Young Artist Award for an entrant aged between 18 and 30 is awarded to a Spanish painter who is also exhibited in the 2012 BP Portrait Award. The winner of the Young Artist Award is Ignacio Estuillo Perez for Mama. Ignacio, Ignacio Etzudillo Pérez. Yeah. <laughs> exactly as I said it. Was. <laughs> the third prize is awarded to a Brooklyn based artist who studied at the British Institute of Florence. The winner of the third prize is David. John Casson for his portrait, Letter to My Mum. The second prize is Richard Toombs for his portrait, Gene Woods.
Here we go, here we go. I haven't got a drum roll, but we can sort of back. <laughs> the first prize goes to an artist and illustrator from Frankfurt. The winner of the BP Portrait Award 2014 is Thomas Ganter for his portrait, Man with a Plaid Blanket. <laughs> So thank you all very, very much. And it's the importance of being Ernest Pinnock. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for being a wonderful evening. And actually, they are wonderful portraits. Thank you all very much for coming. Thank you very much.